In this video, we're ready to begin working on page numbers and back and forth uh, interactive buttons. So what I'm going to do is I clearly don't need a page number on page one. So I'm going to scroll down to page two. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this an education like any other. And I'm going to modify it. So I'm going to do a control V and place it down at the bottom right over here and zoom in right at the very bottom of that document. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the type tool and I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to type in page two. I'm also going to highlight it and change the font from a 24 point to a 14 point. And then I'm going to click on the selection tool and I'm going to double click on the bottom right caret. One nice thing about this is that InDesign does like to tell you when you're nicely lined up. Nonetheless, I want to click, drag and drop some guides so that I can make sure that everything does indeed line up. In this case, I can see that page two is nested right between those crosshairs that I just created. And now what I want to do is I want to create more guides on page three, okay? And I want to create a page three right here. So all I'm doing is copy and pasting. The formatting is already done for me. And I'm gonna type in page three. I now have page two and page three, and I'm gonna copy page two, and I'm gonna go down here to page three, click on page three, and then go edit, paste in place. Now all I need to do is type in and type over page two and change it to page four. I now have a perfectly established page four. Let's go back up to page two, and now what I wanna do is I want to control V again. I'm gonna click drag and drop this to these crosshairs. Now clearly that's hard to read, so I'm going to highlight the text. I don't want a page two again. What I wanna have is I wanna have a back button, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in back. I'm gonna highlight the text, and I'm gonna change the font color. So over here I'm gonna click on my fill carrot, I'm going to click on white, and now I have a back button. All right, let's click on the selection tool and select the back button. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create interactive pages, and I'm going to turn this back button into an actual button so that when someone clicks on it, they're going to flip the page back. The first thing to do is to actually go to Object Interactive, and I want Convert to Button. When you convert to button, you do get the buttons and forms fly out, so I'm going to click, drag, and drop it just beneath effects to dock it, and I'm going to click on the fly out menu. I want to change this type to button. I'm going to name this button next. The event is on the click, so that means that when someone clicks on that, something is going to happen. Here's the event, so I want to click on the plus tool, and I want to go to previous page. Now this is all established, so I'm going to close out the buttons and forms, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the back button, control C, and now I'm going to go down to page four, and I'm going to edit, paste in place. All right, so now I've got the back page two and page three, and I'm going to scroll to the right. I'm going to click on page three, control C, control V. I'm going to click over here, line it up, use your rulers to make sure that it's nicely lined up, and here you're going to highlight the text, and this is going to be the next button. I'm going to highlight, make sure that the text is white, make sure that it's nicely lined up. Okay, I'm gonna to go to buttons and forms. The type is a button. The name is next. The event is on click, and in this case, it's going to go to the next page. All right, let's close that form. I want to make sure that I have the next button selected, control C, and I'm going to go up here to page one, and I'm going to go edit, paste in place. Now I'm ready to move down to page three, and I'm going to make these interactive links. So there's, this is actually a two-step process. Now I want to go to Windows, and I want to go Interactive, and Hyperlinks. I'm going to click, drag, and drop, and anchor and dock the hyperlinks panel right over here in my pages panel. And I'm going to click and fly it out. Now each one of these has to, first you have to define it and then you can actually create the link. So first we're going to define the location and where it's going to. So I'm going to click on learn more. I'm going to click right over here and I'm going to set a new hyperlink destination. So this is step one. I'm going to get this flyout menu here, and I want to change the page to URL. So type is going to be URL. 
here is my learn more so name I want to put in learn more and here I'm going to type in the URL for learn more so I'm going to click OK now I'm going to click on my next book a tour I'm going to go ahead new hyperlink destination type is URL name is book a tour and I'm going to paste the URL and say OK I'm going to go ahead and new hyperlink destination change the page to URL the URL name is apply now and finally the URL here is set all right I'm ready to do the same thing with Facebook and Twitter again I'm going to set the destination first URL and then finally Twitter Okay, I want to type URL, Twitter, and then the URL going to the Twitter Sheridan College page, and I'm going to say OK. All right, so I now have these interactive buttons, and we're ready to move on to the next step. The next step is to now convert these to URLs. So I'm going to actually, we've already got the destination, and we have to tell them to go there. So now I've got learn more. I'm going to now go, instead of new hyperlink destination, I'm going to click on new hyperlink. Here what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the link to is a shared destination. The document is the actual document title that I have currently. The name is going to be Learn More. And I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to repeat that step for each one of these. So Book a Tour, New Hyperlink, Shared Destination, Book a Tour, OK. Apply Now, New Hyperlink, Shared Destination, Apply now. OK. New hyperlink. And OK. Now if you take a look here, I've got all green. That means that these are all valid links and you can go to the URL. Now when you go to save your document and export it to um, a Flash Player document, if you don't have the latest version of Flash, Flash Player, it's not going to work for you. And if you are getting red dots here instead of green dots, that means you really need to go back in and take a look at the exact URL. If you've accidentally forgotten a colon or a, um, the HTTPS at the beginning, it's not going to work. All right, so now I'm ready to move on to the next step. Before I can export this as Flash Player, I actually have to go into Edit, Transparency Blend Space, and change the document to RGB because document for CMYK is for print. So I want to convert this by going into Edit, Transparency Blend, Transparency Blend Space, and convert it to document RGB. Now I'm ready to click File, Save As, and I want to save this as interactive magazine article and I'm going to click save and now my next step is to click on file export and I'm going to go ahead and keep the title and I want to make sure save as types as flash player SWF and click save okay you want to make sure that the options include interactive page curls um, and you want to make sure that you can make sure that all the settings and the defaults look like that we're going to say okay and now it's going to launch in your browser. Let's take a look at this document. All right, so if I click and click over the word next, it's going to give me the page, the next page. If I click on the next button here, it's going to take me back and forth and so on. Also, if you click and hover, you'll notice that these are live links. Oh, I have some, oh, there it is. If you hover your hand over, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, Apply now, book a tour, and learn more. Now, if you don't have the latest Flash Player, they're not going to be active, but if I can hover over them and see that they're active links, then you've got the points. All right, keep in mind that documents like this are great for resumes, data sheets, product documentation, or anything that you want to send to a customer in email format. Be sure to submit your electronic copy, your SWF file, to Slate in the Dropbox.